Hi everyone, Bob is here from um, Dublin Sports Injury Clinic. Today I'm going to show you how can we progress your initial phase of your knee rehabilitation. You already have gone through the, um, the first phase and uh, the first video that I showed you already and your knee feels better, the swelling of your knee is less, the range of movements is better and I'm going to show you now how can you progress those exercises. Let's go through this video one by one. We're going to start this rehab protocol with um, progression of the previous exercises and the first exercise is going to be squat. Now, uh, you initially start your partial squat and assisted squat, now we're going to go for the full range squat as far as you can, which means if you think you can actually go for a lower range of squat, that would be our progression. Now, I'm going to show you how to try this. You can still use those heel support, which is kind of like you can basically use these. If you find them helpful, you can still use these and go for a lower range and if you find them they're easy that's perfect and that can give you a bit of support I'm going to show you from the side and you can try the same exercise and um, with a bit of more range which means we're trying to get more range and push all the way down punch back up and as you can see I'm going for a, for a good bit of range I'm not limiting my movement and again you gotta look at how far can you go down without losing your balance and performing the right technique. Uh, if you find this exercise easy guys, what can you do? Uh, I would suggest to add on some uh, weights. You can add whatever you have at home. Uh, water bottle, if you have dumbbells, kettlebells, use those and progress it. You can try this for three sets of 12 to 15 now as a progression. The following exercise that you're going to do guys is going to be lunges. I'm not sure if you've ever done lunges before but this exercise can actually help you to maybe challenge your balance at the same time uh, kind of like engage your glutes and your hamstring and, and support your knees. Now I'm going to show you how to do this and you can give it a try. Uh, for lunges we would like to get a bit of space between our foot, shoulder wheel part would be great and you're trying to create a slightly longer steps forward and coming back. You can try the same leg again or if you find that's comfortable you can change legs and do it alternate. Now if you had an injury on the right knee I would basically try to challenge the right knee in a different way which means I'll try to get the right knee a little bit fatigued which means maybe I do five to eight reps with the right knee and then change it to the left knee. I'm going to show you from the side as well. I kind of create, I try to maintain my uh, shoulder width apart through the movement and I created a bit of longer steps when I'm going forward and as you can see this knee goes to the 90 and the behind knee goes to the 90 degrees as well now this exercise in fairness can be a little bit challenging guys and if you've never done it before it could be a little bit difficult I'm going to show you how to simplify it you can do static lunges which means just go down and come back up you can try to start this with let's say three sets of five to eight for three sets and then you can progress it. I'm going to show you from the side which means you do the same thing just going down and coming back up. If you find your balance is going to be compensated you can use somewhere to hold your hands and still doing the exercise. Now I believe this exercise can challenge you really well. Give it a try guys. The next exercise guys, it's going to be a kind of basically exercise that help you to challenge you for outdoor exercises. If you're going for a run, if you're going for playing soccer, etc. This can be a great exercise to improve your balance and single leg basically stability. Now I'm going to show you the exercise and you can give it a try. Uh, for this exercise, you're going to be standing in one leg and challenge the foot balance and control. And I'm slightly bending this thing, bringing the opposite foot up, hold it there for a few seconds. And, and then you can change the legs, literally hold it there, count, and maybe up to five, eight, progress it to 10 seconds. And this is gonna be initial phase. If you find this is easy after a while, what you could do, you could challenge it with basically some touch, uh, keep the knees bended, bring it up back again. This not only helping you with uh, strengthening the quads, hamstring, it basically challenges your foot basically and your ankle. Now we can change the legs, touch forward, side, back, any way that you like to play around with it. I'm going to show you from the side, 
bring foot up, slow control touch, back again. As you can see, my knees is being dependent. Change the legs, touch forward, here, around. Be patient with it, guys. Play around with it. And um, if you find that it's difficult, initially start with uh, the first option. Take your time. And if you have any question, guys, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. There are more video and rehab protocol on the way. Have a great day, guys. All the best.